Okay, I haven't done a video for a couple of days. I've got some injuries. <laughs> that was mountain biking stuff. Um, I've just received, and I've unpacked it already, um, my Ninja Foodie uh, 100. So it's the small one. So it's, I actually, it's, 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 it is quite small, right? There it is. And we're just gonna do a pressure cook test. So I've added 500 mils of water into, into the, the pan. And it says the lid. All right, hang on. I'm going to take all the bits off. So the lid's got all bits on it. So we need to peel all these stickers off. Sleeping dog. So we peel all the stickers off. All right, all good. Okay. And we put the vent. We put that on there like that. And and I was doing it backwards, so it goes with the vent at the back. And we lock it in place. So shed some light on the situation. Okay, and turn the valve to seal, which is that side. So there's vent that side, seal that side. Okay. Push pressure. So we've got pressure. Select high and set time to two minutes. So we do time. Two minutes. And then press start. Okay. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Uh oh. Oh. Well, that's interesting. How could it have blown the power? All the power's gone out. Oh, okay. All right, let's check the fuses. Okay, for some reason, the previous attempt at running the pressure cooker blew the fuse in my cable that was coming from the house into the van. Um, I actually haven't checked what the size of the fuse was, but I've tried another cable and I've got power back in the van now. So there's no fuses in the van actually blown. This thing's only supposed to pull 1500 watts. So on um, on a 240 feed, what's what's that? It's only, it's only five amps. Um, so it should be okay. So we're gonna try again. Okay, here we have the Ninja Foodie. Here we have a pair of pliers, let's get rid of them. Um, we're gonna turn the power on and plug the unit back in because I unplugged it just in case that was the problem. Okay, power on. There's Alfie. Uh, pressure to high, two minutes. And, okay, fingers crossed. All right, now I guess we just wait and, I don't know, actually, you know, what, what happens now? I think you just wait and see. So that, that stays like that, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully nothing will explode. I'll uh, fast forward past this bit.
Okay, so I didn't think it was doing anything. So it, it takes about, it takes five minutes or so to get up to pressure, but you can now see there's steam escaping and you can hear it. So it appears that it is actually getting up to pressure. That's probably not great for, for under those cupboards though. go so now it's up to pressure and then it does its countdown so am I supposed to let the so I think I'll take that off that can't be good for that cupboard that's only MDF so I don't want it to be there Now the countdown is stopped. Now why is that? Have I put it on for two hours? I think I might have done it for two hours. So I think we'll, uh, can we? Yeah, I think I did it for two hours. There you go, it's done. And it's on keep warm now. So now we, I guess we turn it off. Oh, bye. Oh, isn't that lovely? And then we vent it. Jesus. Yeah, okay, so, and then we dry that cupboard because now it just had steam thrown at it. So there we go. There is the first Ninja Foodi test. <laughs> not, not, with, not without a few hitches, but we got there in the end. Now tonight, I've got a steak to cook, so I'm going to find out what steak and chips are like in the Ninja Foodi. And I'll bring you along. And see. <laughs> see you later while I go and dry this cupboard up and make sure that uh, the MDF doesn't warp from steam. See you later.